Oh, it's official. Roe v. versus versus Wade ruling has been overturned. Yep. In my opinion, this is a black eye for America. This is such a dark day for all womankind. I remember Emo did a video saying, Yeah, say, I'm glad he's gonna return. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I'm glad he's fucking person to murder. He's gonna fucking murder you, fucking murder. See, Emo doesn't come, come uh, get that uh, classic concept. But some people are thinking, Oh, yeah, it's overturned. It's gonna be banned. No, that, well, here's the thing as well. Each state can dictate you know, about abortion. I know here in Washington and Oregon, they're not gonna overturn and ban abortion. It's still legal. But there are some states in like, Midwest and some part of the East are, are going to uh, gonna ban abortion. But here's some reaction to it. It's going to be mixed. Check it out. Andre Guzman joining us live in Seattle where a demonstration is uh, taking place right now because of this controversial ruling. Yeah, Alejandro, you spent the day talking with people who are both pro-choice and also pro-life. So how are they responding to this decision locally? To the side. Jamie and Hannah, I can tell you that it has been a day of full of emotions on some parts. Some are anxiously awaiting what they say a decision they were hoping would be overturned decades ago. But out here today, you can see that today's decision, well, today is a day of grief, fear, and uncertainty. Those banners flying high saying our bodies are lives. Abortion is health care. Health care is a right. Now, again, we want to remind you that Washington as we continue to push forward through these troubling weeks and months, is a place where a pregnant individual can get an abortion and be protected. I feel sad and I feel afraid uh, to really be in a place in a country that has taken away equal protection under the law for most of the country. Kia Guarino is a woman first. Today's decision hits close to home. As an activist, reproductive justice is something she says she's been called to follow. It talked about uh, abortion not being part of our nation's history when that isn't true. It's a very selective interpretation. The five to four decision, she says, is forcing pregnant individuals to travel hundreds, if not thousands of miles to get access to health care abortions. It means that our maternity, maternal mortality rate will go up significantly. A fear several organizations and clinics, including Cedar River and Planned Parenthood and the Northwest Abortion Access Fund, say is only one of the many consequences of the ruling. While they've been preparing for this for years, pro-choice leaders say their plans have been expedited. We have already been um, seeing patients from out of, out of state at an increasing uh, number. Um, even dating back to the Texas SB8 decision. ACLU says this is a much bigger problem than what they're faced with, as they anticipate a dramatic increase in patients traveling to Washington to seek care. So that means we may not have enough resources and abortion providers who can actually provide the care we need, and it puts a huge strain on the clinics. While the next few weeks and months will be telling, the Northwest Abortion Access Fund says this is a regional issue. Currently, 54% of their clients live in Idaho, and 25% of those usually have to travel outside of Idaho to get an abortion. For us, today is a day of great grief for ourselves, for our clients. They say funding is and will continue to be an issue for millions seeking abortions. While Washington leaders are already gearing up for a legal battle to protect clinics, providers, and patients, some agree with today's verdict. People from different states will fly to uh, the state that abortion is illegal, whatnot. Um, I'm a little torn apart about that. Why? Because I was going to abort my child out of fear. Elizabeth Kim, but Miss Washington Universe Transcontinental 2022, says her son is now 11 years old. She carried her pregnancy to term after seeing her unborn baby in her womb. She supports the higher court's decision. As young citizens who doesn't have a voice yet, doesn't have a even chance to leave, this is this is completely not right. Pushing for education and adoption to help individuals who are expecting. Others, like the ones out here today, said they're going to keep standing up and fight for bodily autonomy. Now, the one thing both sides can agree on today is that you can make your voice heard at the polls. You know, and some people think it's like, you know, if 
What if, it, like, in a case like incest or especially rape, of all things? I mean, some people are like, well, there's no exception, like shit. The like the look, some people are thinking now that they're just overturned. They, they're a woman that if the rape, they they should be they they shouldn't uh, abort that the rapist baby like that as well. That she should go through like like come on. I mean, first of all. You think a woman that would ask it rape? You think she wants to carry out? I mean, she feels ashamed, and she finds that she's pregnant with a rapist baby. That she, you know, the sex was unconsensual. She didn't ask for it, and you know she's certainly gonna. Ask, she sure, certainly didn't ask to be pregnant. So she's got every right, if you ever mind, that she doesn't want to have a rapist baby. She should have have right to, every right to abort it. It's crazy. I mean, this is I, I was absolutely crazy. 50 years of this has been like that. Roe v. Wade, now it's overturned. It's going to be crazy. And this is going to divide America even more. I mean, fuck. America's already divided as this, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, people are bitching on, like, people are pointing fingers at, oh, so Biden, you know, Democrats, why prices are rising, like gas, food, and everything, why not? People are sitting there saying, oh, when you get Trump back, everything's going to be cheaper. No, 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 no. It's not like that. It has nothing to do with Biden or anything like that. It's called inflation. I mean, it's crazy. Anyways, I'm out here. Mike, y'all. Peace out.